what's up i'm aqua and with 2k charging ridiculous amounts of money to have fun in my career i'm gonna show you how to get the my career experience for free so the first step is going to be to create your player you're just gonna come over here let me just show you where it's at it's the options and features all the way at the bottom just above the season then you're gonna go create a player and then create your player you could even make a wnba player if you want i'm trying to play with lebron and them so i'm making an nba player so just for just for video purposes we're just going to click cardi we're going to play playbook cardi in the league so you're going to create your character you're going to say come to vitals pick your name school pick your tattoos gears etc etc go go over your jump shot dribble moves yada yada side note bro is anybody having this issue when you come over to layups and dunks you see how it says basic two-handers as soon as i move this i can't go back it's just all superstar dunk packages i can't get any of the basic dunks is anyone else having this issue comment down below but after you pick your hot zones tendency signatures yada yada you're gonna come down here and click export player dna um so we'll just do this real quick so you're gonna save player dna pick something write the name of your player whatever you want to write and then once you do that you're done with the first step on to the next one so the next step is obviously getting your character in the league now you can go to one of two routes you can either create roster which will just put them right in the nba or you can click create a draft class and then you'll be with the next batch of rookies um it's whatever you want to do personally i'm just trying to get straight to the league so we're going to click create a roster for the video you can pick whatever era you want which is really cool and this is going to make sense in a second so i'm going to click the modern era of course because i want to play with modern nba players so we're going to click the official 2k sports roster then just go to whatever team you want to play on so just for video purposes i'm going to click the sixers and just go to the bottom and pick a player that you don't know or just don't care about edit that player and then you're going to scroll down to import player dna load or download player dna then scroll over to my files you get to my files you're going to pick that file and then you're going to import appearance and attributes and here you have your player which would be your player for our video we have cardi so they have cardi with all the badges and everything that we picked for them and that's the fastest way to do it there's another way where you can just um scroll over to created players but then you have to click a player copy them to a team and then like for example we click the bulls a team can only have 15 players now you got to scroll to the bulls delete someone it's too much hassle just do what i showed you and it's a lot quicker you're gonna save your roster under whatever name so we'll just do gta5 but there's no a all right save that yes this means nothing yes this means nothing on to the next step so now you're gonna come over to my nba in my nba eras See, I already have one going, but we're going to do a new one just for you. So you're going to click new file. It gives this cool animation. Then you're going to click whatever area you want to play in. We're doing the modern era. So when you get here, you're going to come to this top left box. Click triangle or Y if you're on Xbox. And then toggle custom roster. You want to make sure that's green. So that's where you can load your roster in. Um, that's all you have to do here if you want to mess with any of these other settings have at it i'm not really going to do too much just for this video and next you're going to pick your user created roster this is where you pick the created roster because you're going to slide over here and we're going to pick our gta file but this will be the file that you have named for your character right so loading this we put our character on the sixers so we're going to select the sixers and then you advance this is where you would if you put your character in the draft like if you put your character in the draft class, then you would load download draft class. Then you would do user created graph, draft class and then scroll over to your files and pick the draft class. We don't have one because that's not the route we took. But if you did make a character and put them in the draft, that's what you would do. That's for video where it's going to auto generate. And now we're here. You can mess with the settings. Also, one thing I would recommend, like if you're just someone that's so great at 2K, you can come over to the sliders and CPU and mess with these to make it easier or easier for the cpu to score harder for you to score whatever kind of challenge you want to do for you that's all you but as you'll see we come over to roster and you scroll where's cardi where's cardi here we have it our character is on the sixers in the league now the one final step you do have to do is come down to options settings and then go to position you're going to player lock as your character so now you're only controlling your character when you get in the game and it gives you that my career feel 
the coach calls all the timeouts as long as you put everything on automated and it still gives you the my career feel if you even want to go the extra mile you can like keep track of your stats or like give yourself upgrade points based on how you perform you can start at like a 60 some overall so you can still get that my career grind feel without spending any money and it's it's the it's the best of both worlds so let's just hop in a game real quick cardi has no stats or no minutes so um yeah let's just uh let's just let's just not hop in the game bro because i'm not gonna go through a whole rotation and all that but that is how you can play my career without spending a dime if you like the video please consider subscribing at least like the video i just i showed you the touch i mean i know a lot of people know how to do this already but if you're one of the people that don't now you do all right that's gonna do it for the video peace